Hello everyone and welcome to our type of construction series. Today we're going to be talking about type 4 construction and um, all, everything that entails for that type of construction. If you want to see our previous videos, we have type 1, 2 and 3 construction and the overall um, overall review of the, all of them. You can see it right here. And then you can come back and take a look of the type four construction. So this is a special type of construction. We don't have, this is the only type of construction that we do not have the type A or type B. It's type four, period, that's it. So what does type four construction means? This is exterior walls, non-combustible, and the structural elements uh, they are combustible, but on top of being combustible, they have a minimum dimensional criteria for the wood members. And the building code has the dim dimensional criteria. You can look it up. It, it has a minimum width or thickness that the, the wood has to have. Why is that? Well, when the pieces of wood are very thick and a fire occurs, it takes a very, very long time to get to the center of that member. And that member is so dense that it charges on the outside, but it kind of self-distinguishes itself. So this type of construction or these structural elements allow for the structure to have a certain period of, yes, a fire may occur, but it's not gonna collapse. It's, it's gonna preserve or it's gonna sustain a certain amount of time. So it's considered some type fire protected, but it's not really. It's just a natural element that takes longer to burn. Think about when you're in a bonfire and you throw a really thick piece of wood in the fire. It takes forever, it doesn't. That's why you cut it in smaller pieces to, to, to be able to burn faster. That's the idea behind this type of construction. Okay, so remember we don't have the A or B protected. But in general, if they have any exterior bearing walls, those have to be a minimum of two hour fire resistant rating and they have to be non-combustible, meaning that you can have block on the outside and wood. Structural elements that are, they have this minimum dimensional criteria as your structural elements, your roof system, everything inside can be um, combustible. But in order to qualify for heavy timber, it has to meet those um, dimensional criteria. Where we live in Florida, I don't see this very often, but we all, always see it in like um, gazebos or pergolas or those like pretty ac um, accessory or pretty accents um, that they give to buildings a lot of time. Heavy timber is allowed in the type one or two construction because is considered non-combustible or it has certain type of resistance. It is, it, there are some exceptions in the code, but that is allowed for exterior element and decorative, um, decorative elements on the buildings. So that is type for construction, combustible material that is very thick and exterior uh, bearing walls have to have a minimum of two hour fire resistance rate. All right, well, that's it for type four construction. This one was a very short one and it's, it's easy to spot when you are um, doing construction because the wood elements are very prominent and they're large in size. If you have questions, um, please leave us a comment uh, and we will get back with you, if not. And also please subscribe if you like our videos. We're gonna be doing other series as well. So I'll see you next time, bye.